and Game Master this evening. Gem Stars is an actual play of Mutants and Masterminds, the world's greatest superhero RPG from Green Ronin Publishing, taking place in the original setting of Lafondi. Mutants and Masterminds is a D20-based system that allows players and GMs to create stories featuring all of the greatest heroes and villains of their imagination. One of the fun things about Mutants and Masterminds is the inclusion of the hero point. These allow heroes to re-roll a die, take an extra action, recover from dangerous conditions, make small scene edits, or use their powers in creative ways. Heroes each start with one of these hero points and can gain additional points for good role-playing, funny jokes, clever decisions, having their characters' complications used against them, and by your generosity. That's right. If you subscribe, renew a subscription, or donate bits to the stream, you will generate a hero point that you can then give to the player of your choice. We are a small but growing streaming network, and those subscriptions, likes, and comments, both here on Twitch and over on YouTube, help to keep us visible, growing, and paying our bills. Now, let's meet our heroes for tonight, shall we? Say, I don't want to swap, heroes. I don't want to swap, want swap, heroes. swap, heroes. And there we are. <laughs> My bingo! On Woo. brand! Bingo All spot! Right. Bingo spot! <laughs> Heroes, let's go ahead and have you introduce yourselves. Tell us your name, who you are playing, and answer our question of the week, which is, what would your character say is the best and the worst thing about being a gem star? And I believe that directly under me is Brandon. So let's start there. Hi, everybody. I am Brandon, and I play Kingsley Palace, a.k.a. Uh, world-renowned singer Jade Crystal, a.k.a. the Emerald Gemstar of Fortune. And, well, I, the, the best thing about being a gemstar is Ruby. And the worst thing about being a gemstar is Ruby. She makes me very nervous. Fair. I didn't need that spot that early. <laughs> it came in. It came in like a wrecking ball and just I, smashed I that. wasn't ready for it to become that quick. I was still coloring in stay hero, stay blank heroes. I was, thank God, Ruby and Emerald are right next to it. And I will pass to Jenny. <laughs> and then we can get the other bingo spot. Dirk, I was coloring. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely wasn't ready. Yeah. They definitely weren't ready. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, no, I'm they Demi. Weren't. I play uh, Mary and Gemini. Uh, Gemini? Yep. yep. Gemini. <laughs> yep. That's oh my happened. god, I'm Gemini. I play Mary, the Morganite gem start of healing. It's going to be that kind of night. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in case I couldn't make it clear enough, I was not ready for this. <laughs> um, to answer the question, uh, uh, the best part for it would probably be that Mary's never been able to actually be able to protect people that she's cared for this much. So it makes her happy to have this power, to have the power to be able to protect those she loves since the gem stars are like a second family for her. Um, and the worst part, she would say, it has to be the lie because she doesn't like having to deceive people, especially her mom. And so, you know, that's probably the worst part for her. Uh, I've got some reactions from Joe. <laughs> it's so precious, and it makes so uh, much sense. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's it. And uh, hey, Joe, take it, take it away. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm Joe. Normally, I'm playing Seteta, Sodalite, other you names. Are. Tonight's gonna be weird still. But you still um, are playing Tetta, here, at least. Uh, Ruby encrusted penguin. Um, mm -hmm. but. The best and worst thing about being a gem star is people. Fair. Uh, Damn, you took Alexandria's answer. She is not <laughs> used to how much peopling has been happening in her life for the past week. She God, is not to used to people actually remembering her and seeing her and not being confused. Like, that is amazing and terrifying because that is. <laughs> She had never had that in life, so uh, yeah, people. Uh, maybe she's an introvert for however much she stays out in the middle of things. She's an introvert. 
Um, well, Aunt Puppy. I'm Aunt Puppy. I play Alexandrite, the gem star of magic. Uh, maybe part demon. Um, so the best part of being a gem star is invisibility. The worst <laughs> part about being a gem star is the gem stars. <laughs> Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. That's different. That, 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 Mary's that, over here like my no, second family. That feels, it feels that, right, but that, that feels untrue because we have some like character, character development. You they are growing to protect Mary. Them. Yeah. I will say they are growing. The the stabby one has come out to be her favorite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that tracks. But the the loud one is growing on her. <laughs> the loud one is growing on her, and I think she's mm-hmm. she's coming around. Yay! It's slow but sure, but you know she's used to doing everything by herself and not having to rely too heavily on other people. So the fact that a lot of the powers are involved in heavily is power friendshiping. She's not a huge fan of that part. So is Mary the loud one? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Very yeah, and then Ruby's the happy sad one. <gasps> I don't think she's come up with nicknames yet for Emerald and and uh, Amber yet. Maybe like after she... tonight she'll have some nicknames for Amber and Emerald. <laughs> I feel like the nickname she probably would have gone with was stolen by Queenie, and now she won't use it for Amber, which is the weird That's one. True. That's right. true. Like, it was a good one, but, like, because Queenie uses it, I'm like, Alexandra will never use it now. Nope. And with Despite... that, I will pass down to Aaron. Oh, hey. I'm Aaron. Um, I am playing Braylon, who is secretly, although not no longer secret to the other Gemstars, a Gru, um, who normally has the Amber Gemstar of Transmutation, but, you know... That's going to go weird tonight. And, um, yeah. So, uh, the best thing about being a gem star, as far as Braylon is concerned, is the fact that for the first time in five, six, somewhere in there, um, since they've come to this planet, there are actually people that they can tell the truth to. Um, because the other gem stars know that they're a Gru and know about them and have still accepted them, um, or at least have made them think that they've still accepted them. Um, we love you. Uh, and, you know, Braylon's entire perspective on life was changed with the whole no longer connected to the meta mind gets to now realize that people are cool. And it was kind of, like, as much as they loved it, it was still very lonely because they knew that they couldn't ever tell anyone the truth about who they were. And now there are people that they can, and that's awesome. Um, the worst part of being a gem star is the fact that no sooner did they get the gem star than they felt like they had to step into heavy duties with the console to take care of the people of the Jade Expanse. And there's a real serious conflict between those two competing sets of responsibilities. Um, And truthfully, they, Braylon is pragmatic. Um, Like they, they have no issues with the trolley problem. Uh, They, they, they would instantly make the, the calculus of no, you save more lives. Um, So they don't have a problem with the idea that they need to step down as, uh, adjunct to the council in order to focus on being a gem star. There just hasn't been time to do it. <laughs> um, so that's the thing that they probably like the least about being a gem star is just the, uh, d- yeah. Um, they it, chaos that came with the title. I mean, the short, the long and the short of it is if, if it was under any other circumstances, they would just go, okay, I don't get to have a secret identity. I have to make this my focus. Um, but circumstances have not allowed for that. So, And with that, I will pass it over to Calvin. 
Okay. Uh, well, hey, everyone. I'm Calvin, and I am playing Arcelia, a.k.a. the Ruby Gemstar of Strength. Um, and for the end... <laughs> The answer to the, oh, there's two cats on screen. For the answer to the question of the day, um, oh, we just got a follow, which I will note real quick from Nemesis Simmons. Uh, people have so many complicated names that are hard to read. But Nemesis Simmons, you should also be able to give a hero point to someone. Could it be ne Nemesis Simmons? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> It's never someone with a name I can read when I'm <laughs> paying attention. No, why would we do that? It'd be too easy. <laughs> but um, to answer the question of the day, um, best part of being a gem star, uh, I mean, my original answer was the prerogative to have a little fun, but <laughs> my actual answer, <laughs> my actual answer is pretty much just being with the team, being with these group of friends, able to do some good and have really cool outfits to do it in and, <laughs> of and of course getting to hear kingsley say time to shine has been a very much a highlight of her experience <laughs> um <laughs> but the hard part um or at least the the part she doesn't like is just the weight of the responsibility especially being put into this leadership role um because she doesn't feel like she has time to deal with mistakes or anything whenever they come up she just has to keep on trucking and just being, like, she feels like she has to be personally responsible for everything, and she kind of still has to get over that a bit. Um, like, her solution to the trolley problem would be just throwing herself in front of the train, which is not necessarily a useful answer in all situations. So, she still has a ways to go on that. Um, but that's her thing, so I guess I'll pa I think that's everyone's. So I'll pass it back up to Wiki. No. Yes, mm -hmm. sorry. Everybody yeah. good? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's okay? what we got. Emerald and Ruby flirting. <laughs> yep. We haven't even started the game yet. <laughs> I have checked off. All right. <clears throat> when last we saw our magical girls, the gem pets had completed their mission to gather the missing gemstones and get them to the gem stars. We pick up at the intercessory as the companions have found their way into the cells of their gem stars. Gem stars, you have been, for the past few hours, you have been cooling your heels, as it were, in the local intercessory. Um, you've been placed in separate isolation isolation cells and told that they will process you as soon as they can. That was several hours ago. Um, you have heard nothing since. We are putting gay baby jail. <laughs> um, when we last saw a jump stars, they were in gay baby jail. Or at least Emerald was. No, you're, you're all in. <laughs> no, you're all in jail because they kind of think you were trying to kidnap someone. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I'm going to give everybody an opportunity to give us a little bit of, of what you were have been doing for those few hours while you're just waiting. Um, and uh, let's start in order of cell. Morganite. Oh. What have you been doing? Uh, I mean, Mary really hasn't been doing much. Um, Quick question now, before Mary, Mary said, can we see each other? No. So we can't see each other and we're in individual cells. Correct. Okay. It's, it's you can see nothing except your cell. Can and you your cell is, Nope. Okay. Uh, your cells are made up of four walls, one of which has a really fancy um, door on it, and that's your jail cell door. Uh, the 
stone floor, a really crappy cot, and a toilet. So you're basically in a bathroom. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. I am assuming that for plot reasons, mm -hmm. you would prefer that Amber not just transform into a bug and fly out of here. Um, I mean, if Amber wants to try, Amber could, could certainly try. Um, but Amber will find that they can't get out because the intercessory's jail cells are backed up by gem magic. Okay. Um, and they take into account that the people they're putting into their cells could possibly be gem mages and could have abilities that they're not aware of. Okay. In a world with magic, they tend to be prepared for just about anything in that uh, vein. And uh, your GM thought about that too. <laughs> <laughs> right, but okay. You can you can just hand wave it and say that the cell is will prevent them from doing it, but <laughs> magic. Right, that's what I was saying. I'm assuming that for plot, it is not possible for Amber to escape. No. They can transform inside their cell. They just can't get out of it. Okay. Uh, so, I'm sorry, Morganite, uh, okay. Mary, what have you been doing? Uh, not much, really. Mary's basically just been sitting there this time, uh, trying not to panic, because... Uh, been isolated from friends and has no powers of her own or physical strength even, really. And the whole being arrested for kidnapping? Yeah. Not, yeah. not... Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, she, she has nothing she can do. So they're really just trying to basically do that. If we play along, maybe we'll get less problems. <laughs> and if I'm lucky, my friends do have a plan and they can enact it and I can just tag along. Or maybe Gems will have a way to get back to us. I don't know. She can't do anything, and she doesn't have much on her, so. She's just been having a little panic attack? Basically. Basically, she's been in the corner doing breathing exercises for, like, hours. Cool. Ruby! Ruby um, has spent a lot of time pacing back and forth. Um, she's like, she's got a whole lot of pent up energy because there's like a bunch of stuff going on and now they're being accused of kidnapping. They don't have time to delay like this. Um, she probably like at some point she's going to start like, she's going to do like trying to yell out of the door, trying to get someone's attention. Like she didn't want to play this card, but if it's been several hours, she might do the, do you know who I am sort of thing, especially in the open on, um, which could be really problematic with whatever was else was going on here. But she's hoping that it'll at least be something she can use to help get her out of here. Um, we haven't seen Talindra since the cart crash, I figure. No, uh, they took Talindra away when they arrested you. So... Because she was unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> so after, like, hours of no response, I mean, she's, like, she's still... She she tried to lie down and lasted all of five seconds. She does like some I don't know one hand push ups or something for a bit, uh, but she's very <laughs> she's very restless right now, um, and she hasn't seen like she would probably have thought that either Satetia or Braylon with their own personal abilities outside the gems, if they haven't broken out by now, then they need some outside help here or something because. Yeah, it might not be possible to. Emerald. I'm sorry. Kingsley. Um, well, as luck would have it, <laughs> the guards are 
super fans of Jade Crystal. Oh, that's right. You were dressed as Jade Crystal. <laughs> uh, by the yeah. way, they call themselves Crystallites. <laughs> um, I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> and so she's been politely, politely going along with them, giving her, you know, an extra nice uh, bed covering and uh, the, the, the the best food that's available in the area. And she signed a few autographs and has and is trying to work. And, you know, we this really is quite important. We we really do need I mean. Has she woken up yet? Uh, you know, questioning her will uh, clear all this up. Oh, 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 thank you. Yes, I love uh, chocolate-covered uh, bonbons. Thank you. Add that to the lore. Jade Crystal loves chocolate bonbons. Sateta, what have you been doing? Oh, she's a... Uh... She's a, a little bit feral in her cage. Um, she has scaled the walls and like touched every corner and crack and crevice and tried to um, set up traps. Um, and so if someone tries to come in, like knives are at the ready and like she's perched up like eyes on the door to be like whoever fucking comes, I'm sorry, whoever comes in here first. <laughs> Some daggers because I don't have time for this. I'm getting out that door as soon as it opens. It's interesting that she <clears throat> thinks they haven't completely forgotten she exists already. <laughs> because the door hasn't opened. Like, because she's just like, as soon as someone opens that door, because like she's obviously like checked it and tried to like pick the lock and like probably got zapped with magic and to be like, ah, crap. There's actually no locking mechanism or handle or anything on the inside of the door. Mm. But still, she's like, she's, I'm, because of what you said to uh, Aaron, she is scout, scout, scouted. Wow, I can speak. Okay, it's that kind of night. Huh. I, was, I was there with you, I mean. She has checked every nook and cranny possible. And so she's relying on her streetwise and deception. And what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, her acrobatics and stealth to just to be like posted up, ready with her little daggers of assassination to be like, I am, I don't care who comes through the door, I'm messing them up and I'm getting out as soon as someone even questions, like, why is this door locked? Death. Death. So, yeah, she's just going a full on River Tam. Yes. Yeah. We're going to go with some cliches that one uh, elliot <clears throat> elliot's <laughs> so elliot feels quite at home in this cell because it doesn't <laughs> feel too terribly different than what she's used to but she is basically being the annoying sister and is just yelling just words and sounds and banging hey, on hey, things hey, and hey. Just, yeah she's just basically just being as obnoxious as possible hoping that she will be so annoying because she she you know she's screaming she's like i don't belong here this isn't even where i'm from like you guys are kidnapping me like she's <laughs> just whatever she can do to be as annoying as possible with the what hopes that Someone is standing out there and she is driving them insane. <laughs> okay, I gotta ask, are the cells soundproof? They yeah. are. <laughs> <laughs> so she's, yeah, she's just screaming, hoping that somebody is listening and that she's annoying them enough. Like, she's like, you know, it's been too long since we've had food. Like, she, like she has no concept of how long the time has been. So to her, it's like, she's been in there for like days, but really it's like, 20 minutes, she's like, you guys haven't fed us yet? <laughs> like, she's just screaming things. Just hoping to annoy them. Especially when, if they ever open, like, the door, or she happens to, like, see somebody come by or something. She's just yelling. Just hoping. <laughs> just, you know, the, the screaming, the annoying sound, and just whatever she can do to oh, hopefully gain and... attention from somebody. Oh, all right. I'll tell you. I, you guys seem like such nice guys. Um, yes, that song is in fact inspired by my ex-boyfriend. 
Oh no. <laughs> Braylon? Don't go lore dropping like this. Um, yeah, so Braylon would have spent a little bit of time trying to figure out if there is a way out of the cell. Um and quickly realizing that, you know, even by like turning into you know, an aquatic bug <laughs> yeah. couldn't like go through the drains of the toilet. That's of... actually the closest you got uh -huh. to escaping. Um, but the you find that the uh there's something going on in the junctions of the plumbing that you just you cannot pass through no matter, like even you tried to turn to mist and you just can't pass through it. Can't turn to mist without my stone. Oh right. It's only yeah. Without my stone, I can only turn into living things. Yeah, um, so you find that there's something going on there that... Okay. So after realizing that attempts at escape are pointless, um, they will uh, just sit and kind of meditate and uh, shapeshift to look like uh, General Acosta. <laughs> just cause just for funsies um, they don't honestly expect it to fool the, anyone but and they may or may not be planning to turn into a uh, Venusian tiger as soon as someone uh, opens the cell door and eat them I mean the thing <laughs> is, like, him just sitting there as Acosta is going to take someone off guard so you would think if they open the door. Remember, this is not a um, this is not a society that has um, video, so it's not like they're watching you in the cells, right? Um, I mean, I they are I was monitoring that your because, like, I just imagine, like, I don't know how, but just the Teta's like spidered up into a corner <laughs> with daggers, just waiting, very like methodically, and like if there was a camera, like that wouldn't work. You, you are being monitored, sort of, just not in the way that we here on Earth think about it. That's fair. Um, so, uh, you're all sitting there going a little, as Siketa says, feral. And <laughs> um, I mean, the you next. I know what I searched up to get that image. This next sequence, this is all happening at the same time. But because I'm only one person, I have to go through each of you right. one at a time. Okay. Uh, Emerald, you are the only one whose door has been opened at all. Um, and I lack any actual ability to, you know, overpower the like the guards. I, I know that even if I attempted the guards, you so and no. <laughs> and because of that. You actually are about 10 seconds ahead of everyone else in, in what is about to happen. Thistle comes scampering through the door as one of your fans goes to close it again and, and leave for another time, happily walking away with their, um, oh with their autograph. And... Thistle looks up at you and goes, You found me! Uh-huh. Oh, you're so wonderful. I, I pick him up and I give him a little kiss. Oh. I do not consent to this. Oh, I'm sorry. And I set him down on the bed. Look, we have things to discuss. Okay. But there's no time. Oh. And, um... He presents to you a gemstone. And that gemstone is not emerald. It is Alexandrite. Mary. Hey. Ortison suddenly pops into existence Jesus. in your cell. You can He's do that? In a poof of Feathers and annoyance. You can do that this entire time? No! No, I can't. 
Look, there's no time. Take this. And Ortison presents you with a gemstone, but it's not Morganite. It's sodalite. Ruby. Mm -hmm. Shelby suddenly pops into existence in your jail cell in a armored ball of confusion. Shelby. It peeks out. How? Oh. Um, not a clue. That teacup guy's annoying. And he really is. There's no time. Take this. Got it. And Shelby presents you with a gemstone that is not Ruby. Instead, it is Morganite. Hmm. So, like, Mousy suddenly crawls out of your out of the uh, little hood area of your cloak and is like, um, so... When'd you get there? That was Wait, weird. That was really weird. Um, there's stuff. Yep. But there's no time. Nope. Here, take this and present you with a gemstone. And it's not sodalite. Instead, it is Ruby. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, no. Alexandrite. You hear a voice. Oh, God, stupid fucking cat. If we could get this over with at any time, that would be fantastic. Alexandra did not stop singing the annoying song. So. No time. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. Here's your stone. And just out of thin air drops a gemstone. But it's not Alexandrite. Uh, instead, it is Amber. And Amber. Yep. Suddenly, and without warning, into your cell poofs the strangest looking creature you have ever seen <laughs> a copy of him it's blonde and anthropomorphic and possibly some kind of raccoon i'm going to point out that strangest creature i've ever seen is a very high bar but <laughs> And it looks around and says, oh, I was expecting not you. Uh, little dude. Uh, little dude. What were you expecting? Um. Oh, right. And I will return to looking like Braylon. Oh, uh, never mind, little dude. <laughs> hey, so um, I was supposed to say there's stuff and things, no time, stone. And this little blonde raccoon, little, this three foot tall blonde raccoon hands you a gemstone but it is not amber it is emerald and then he says uh so oh uh i think i gotta go now and he disappears well that was something just became the most powerful being <laughs> <laughs> and with that all of your doors pop open okay simultaneously do we the door 
uh, or since, do, we need to, <laughs> do we need to do someone else's transformation phase? Because I don't think ours will work anymore. Uh, oh. I'm going to take my. I'm going to look out and see if anybody else has had, or if it was just a lucky. First, oh god, let's, let's go to a map. No, no. You know, have to. let me out. Let me out. Let me out. No, no, no. A map. A map. No. Oh, it's funny. I have to ignore what token I see. First, because I saw my own first, and I was like, oh, hey, and then I was like, wait. Wait, no, I didn't need my token. My no, token you need your token. Yay. Yes. Me. So, everyone should be able to see themselves and the other gem stars. And yep. I believe that's it. Yep. Yes. God, okay, Emerald and Ruby gotta be in cells near each other. I see. <laughs> oh, the, um... How lucky. Oh, the little... <laughs> I'm not okay. sure if everyone can see their doors, but your door is on the opposite end of your cot. Yeah. Yep. I see the door. Bam. I do uh, not see mine, but I will take it on faith. Yeah, so Ruby and yeah, th 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 those doors are slightly cut off by the image, but. So as your doors pop open. Is that revealing anything? No. Mm, why does this hate me? There we go. I think it worked that time. Yeah. So I believe that is everyone's door popped open and revealed. Um, you can all see basically out straight out your door. Yep. Yay. Oh, I am by a friend, actually. Never mind. I'm happy. Hello. Uh, Hi. You may so wait, proceed do need to... to move forward. Do we need and to I need it? everyone to please give me a perception check. I cannot Should I... move my token. Should we use our um, normal forms right now? Yes, unless you've tra unless you've figured out how to transform. No, I have not. I was trying to act um, to act, Bordison, but he won't talk to me. He's mean. Try it now, Joe. Uh, yes. I got a sixteen. I got a twenty-six. Uh, 15 for wow. normal Arcelia. I've been having a panic attack, man. My senses Thanks. are heightened. Oh. A nine. Uh, All right. Uh, I'm I don't going to waste my, my hero point on the first roll, but that's some nonsense right there. I did great. I don't know what you're talking about. That's fine. I know. I can't oh. decide if I want anyone, to or not. I don't think so. Anyone who got a 15. Or a bug. The map went dark. Sure did. did it? Yep. It should be revealing. It, no. no. It, it obscured everything. Uh, did it in reverse. It revealed less. All right. All right. All right. Yay! Oh, it yay. Oh. oh, no. <laughs> I don't know why 20 hates me so much. Mm. All right. So as everyone moves out into their various hallways, you can now see certain things. Uh, um, anyone who got a 15 or higher, um, you are going to hear coming from the sort of southwestish corner, looking at the map southwest, um, you will hear a little bit of, it sounds like a little bit of commotion and some voices, one specifically stands out, actually two specifically stand out. Uh, the first one saying, I don't care who you are, you can't just waltz in here. There are procedures to follow. Uh, followed by a female voice um, that, hold on just a second. Did I get my um, check of Sophie Habits? Kingsley, you are particularly aware of uh, a female voice that says, but that's funny because I'm pretty sure we just did. 
we are here for the prisoners. As discussed with your chief earlier tonight. And uh, Arcelia and Mary, uh, oh, no. from your vantage point, you can see uh, the intercessor who is clearly um, on monitoring duty. He's monitoring the, the various cells and it's basically guard duty here. Yeah. Um, has is not is has not noted you at all, and has instead um, moved around his station, and is headed toward what you assume to be the exit to the cells um, because of whatever is happening in that direction. Do I get confirmation on who that voice is? Um, you are keenly aware because you hate this person. Yep. Uh huh. Um, it is the voice of Brilliance Sassavite. Mm -hmm. Can I try to sneak over? Or do I even need to worry about like going over to Ruby? No. The guard is clearly unconcerned with what's behind him. Yeah. Or, or, so, uh, we have to go uh, did, get the others. Did you, get, did you get the wrong gem? Yeah, I mean, I thought it looked a little lighter than normal. It's pink instead yeah. of red. Yeah, that looks like mine. Um, but I don't think I should use mine right now, because Ordison would have given me the right one if that was right, and I don't think it's right. So, do you remember what Teta's transformation phrase was? Um, of course I do. Uh, <laughs> but, 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 Crystal super sensory, Gemstar activate, sodalite crystal super sensory. <laughs> Aren't they on the? Um... Yeah, yeah, they are. Oh. I can pull it up, but Mary doesn't know. <laughs> I was using the ones pinned in Discord, so I hope those are right. <laughs> they are. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, if you need mine, I can probably give you mine too. But um, you seem to as you are I'll discuss... be honest, I memorized everyone's phrase. As you guys are really conversing, there's no need for a check on this. You hear screaming and, for lack of a better term, explosions happening outside of the, the cells. So the intercessory you know is a multi-floored building and the... Um, main floor, which you know is the one you're on because that's where the, the, the cells are kept. Uh, the main floor entrance area, the main part of the building is just one big um, kind of open, almost office-like space. Uh, there's a pillared entryway uh, that you come in through. Uh, there is a, a sort of a check-in, sign-in front desk area. There are uh, a few cubicle areas where the intercessors will um, process various criminals or take reports or take reports from uh, people who have had things stolen or whatnot, kind of like a really, really fancy police station. Uh, and there's little waiting areas. So you know generally what an intercessor station looks like. And from that large public space is where you hear all of the nonsense coming from. Uh-huh. Wait, sorry, is that Braylon? Or does a snake thing? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know, so I was just like trying to get a view of the map, and I was like, "Is that Braylon?" Yes, that is Braylon in the form of a Lefondian lizard. Or do they? Okay, they're like, is that Braylon, or do they just have weird little snake things? Yes. In the prison. Yes. 
So, we, how about we? if I could have everyone roll initiative? Roll initiative. Mm-hmm. Who's mm-hmm. initiative? I'm assuming we're just rolling untransformed right now. Untransformed us. Regular us. Mm-hmm. Well, there's the bad roll. Unless you transform. Not yet. There's the bad roll. Hey, the bestie, besties get the same bad rolls. Oh, we got a nine. So funny, flipping hates me right now. I think, I think, the I think that Amber's character sheet is too large for my computer, so it keeps crashing. So I have to keep opening them individually every time. I need to look at them. Oh, use your unpowered normal sheet for now. Yeah, I'm like, uh, every time I opened it, I would get about four seconds of seeing what it was, and then it would just crash. I mean, the truth is that Amber's Roll20 character sheet is largely useless because I'm constantly adjusting things. So tell me what you want to do, and I'll tell you what you're rolling. (laughs) Okay, because I also can see Amber's Gru form, which I'm assuming... Having her gem, I wouldn't be able to do that form. Nope. Okay. Okay, so I believe everyone is rolled. Uh, some stuff happens out there. This map is so big. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, some more stuff happens out there. Yada yada thing stuff. Business, business, business. Yeah, basically business, business, business. Words. Chaos, chaos, business happen, business, business. Alexandrite. Well, Alexandrite's mad that she was locked in a jail cell and nobody came to her. So the first guard she sees, she's going to punch in the face. That seems rude, but okay. Mm. Yeah, she's just mad. She's just really mad and really wants to punch somebody. Okay, well, that would she... She heard the scream, so could she tell which direction they were coming from? Yes, they are coming okay. from the... From, like, where, the, from like, where, like, uh, yeah. Morganite and their cells are, correct? This yeah. Way, the arrow. Okay. okay. But that said, from the, the west... You see is directly to the north of you. That's true. What There's is? also a guard down there, though. The first guard you see is this guy. I know, that's what I was trying to decide if, like, she would have come out, seen the guard, heard the scream, and reacted to the scream first, and then... But I feel like she would just come out and just immediately want to punch a guard. So she's going to go punch him. Oh, yeah. yeah. That seems I mean, productive. that tracks. Yeah. yeah. So, to him. be clear, the M's are intercessors. The, yeah, she doesn't care. The B's are bystanders. bystanders. So oh. they're the other people. <laughs> are they also locked up, though? Yes. You can't actually see them at the moment. Yeah, their doors aren't special. They aren't jump stars. They're not going to be freed. <laughs> they know what they did. They know what they did. <laughs> actually, I don't know they, what they did, but they since, do. Since Alexandria has her staff, she's actually going to take her staff out, and she's going to just whack oh. him. Do you have your staff? You you think they I put mean, you it's in? On my, it's on Elliot's carrier, character sheet. Yeah, yeah, but you you think they put you in your cell with your weapons? That's true. Well, Elliot, or Sodalite had her knives. Sodalite's special. <laughs> I was about to say, I would have been really curious how they found all of her daggers. Yeah. Is Sodalite the meme where it's like, drop your weapons and just starts pulling out like from all the most unreasonable places? <laughs> yeah. Essentially. The fact <laughs> that, like, in her character art, you still see four of her knife holders, like, I was like, okay, that's that's enough for the character art. <laughs> so, yeah. You, you, you've you got fists. Okay, so then she's going to just bludgeon them. And you've got, going to got horns. Them. You can headbutt them like a, like a goat. I was going to say, she's not a rhino. <laughs> not with that attitude, she's not. <laughs> I don't think her head is extra strong just because she has horns. 
Remember, her horns are also not as prominent when she's not transformed. Yeah, they're like little stubby, like... I know, I just... It little baby. Me. But that would be hilarious, because I feel like she would be mad enough at some point in time to do that. <laughs> she just <laughs> comes out of her cell and goes, nah! <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have been here. <laughs> yeah, she just makes the annoying sound she's been making and just runs at him. All right, give me that roll. All right. Uh, yeah, that, 14. that'll hit. Uh, and he only has a DC of 16 he has to do for this, so. Oh, hey. Apparently he's used to getting punched. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh. Why, though? <laughs> <laughs> you should open the damn door. She Not my job. <laughs> Hold on, can uh, I hit him again? Morph uh, Do you want to spend a hero point for that? I was going to have to look and see what, <laughs> what else I got on here. More Wait, shenanigans. Effort, but... What is happening? Why are you moving stuff? Uh, this guy is going to look at Sodalite and go, yeah, more Either. important things and run around the corner. Oh. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> more shenanigans, more shenanigans. Shenanigans abound, y'all. <laughs> Mary Mary and Arcelia just standing there as this guard runs the corner, like comparing jewelry, like uh. <laughs> uh, shenanigans, shenanigans. Well, there's a lot of shenanigans happening. And as the shenanigans are happening, you're still hearing screams and um, gem weapon fire and uh, people barking orders. And it's chaos uh, out out there. Amber. Um, so the uh, intercessor that Alexandrite just punched doesn't seem to be particularly impressed with being no. punched. Okay. Impressed they seem not. they seem confused about the whole thing. All right. Well, then little lizard Amber is going, or Braylon is going to zip over towards him. Um, I have movement for days. Uh, scuttle up his body and bite him on the neck. Yes. <laughs> Poor <sleep>. intercessor. <laughs> no, no. He chose this profession. These are consequences. That is a 17 to hit. That'll hit. And uh, that is a DC 18 toughness save. And then <laughs> if he's conscious, he's also going to need to make a fortitude save. But Okay, we'll just give you that fortitude save. Okay. Then it is a DC 13 fortitude save. He rolled a 20 for that for, <laughs> for that um, toughness save. Gotcha. <laughs> Scott, he is like... Uh, and he and, must have a, maybe he has a biting fetish, so they don't And a, he apparently a 20 for the uh, fortitude save as well. This guy's wow. like, ah, what, what's that? Where did we get lizards? What is going on? <laughs> Why did we lock up a lizard? What did the lizard do? Well, he doesn't know it came from the cell. He just no, knows that there's it. suddenly a lizard on him. I like that he gets punched by a... A demon looking woman and then gets bitten by a lizard. <laughs> it's just Not like a good day. No. Yeah. Or is having a good day because neither of those things took him down and it really should have. <laughs> Ruby. Okay. Um, so this guy just popped out in front of us. Does it look like he So he came he came running around the corner? Yeah. And he he tracks, you know, he 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 tracks you, but he doesn't seem all that concerned about you right now like he's focused on the explosion he's he's clearly headed through the door that you i think you guys can see from where you are okay then. there's a a big uh gated door that has been swung open um yeah okay then i don't have to do anything to him uh <laughs> ruby's just gonna say to morgan okay we've got to find the others and figure out what's going on <laughs> And should we at least do the transformation thing or not? Like, I maybe I, I want to try. I don't, to... Didn't you like tell me in like that book free or something they did have a little thing like this in Shining Justice? 
Yeah, but it only... I mean, I don't know, they, they figured it out pretty quick, so maybe we can too, but they had to have a team together. They did have to do the little... Okay, so I'm just saying, like, we could try it, I don't know. You know my phrase! You could try it! Uh... Fine, let me just get out of sight of this guy. You can duck back into the cell? Still open. Door still open? Um, I can get you out. Is this guy, like, very distracted? He just looks like he's headed just past... He's gonna go right past you. <laughs> okay. Um, then Ruby will try to hide some semblance of a secret identity here. <laughs> uh, just take a step back into here. And then say... Okay, here it goes. Morganite Crystal Restore. Gemstar, activate! And as you say the magical phrase, you transform. And you are wearing Mary's outfit. It's a little small for you. <laughs> but you're wearing it. I'm surprised it didn't resize. Magical. I'm guessing I don't have my punches. I don't I punch anything. That's okay, I'll make it work. You can probably do the healing, though. Healing punches, <laughs> I can deal with that. Would you... I don't, I don't think that's how it works. Restore! 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 <laughs> Stop lying! There is Ruby, a you you. already! <laughs> uh, Ruby, would you like to do anything else? Um. Well, with that transformation, Ruby is going to start looking for the rest of the team, so she is going to head around the corner. Wait, we can get a box that we've never checked off before. Gemstars activate. Yep. Hey. And we got the oh, something something shining you. justice Healing. by mistake. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about the bingo, and I was like, "Oh yeah, we can use like you know shining justice to make this work as our episode." <laughs> and I was like, "Wait." I gotta add that note. More it's shenanigans, lots of shenanigans. Uh, does the Morganite Stone have any speed boosts? No. No. Okay. Then... Actually, wait. You're leaping. Yeah, you do have leaping. Ooh. That'll go you know... well. You're gonna end up on, on the second floor accidentally. <laughs> But it's not a lot of leaping, isn't it? Only like 30 it's feet? 120 no, feet. No, it's, oh, it's, it's good leaping. We gave the magical girl leaping. <laughs> so. Uh, I will I will say that there are high, very high ceilings in this place. Oh, this is just going to be some horizontal leaping. Okay. She's not expecting to jump very high, so she just like turns to run and then I'm unexpectedly imagining... hit by so much, like, so much bounding Do force. Jump. Do a jump. I'm imagining... Uh... The the part in Colors of the Wind when Pocahontas huh? and <laughs> John Smith just gazelle jump across. Yeah, <laughs> except in this really case, it's a little less elegant. Yeah, uh, it's kind of like just yeah, ping ponging around. Yeah, in this case, you kind of um, bounce off the walls. <laughs> like, you yeah, wall off. you kind of ricochet. You're like, oh, okay, that worked. Sort of. <laughs> and then, yeah, just, like, stumbles into the next hall. Uh, so, like, uh, Ruby has just... Yeah. Ru no? No, no, no. Morganite? Uh, Arcelia? <laughs> just, uh, ping-pong balled into the, into the hallway directly in front of you, wearing, so wearing Morganite's outfit, that's definitely too small. Oh, Mary's gonna so be an outfit to What make Ruby her. encounters when like ping ponging around that corner is, is say Teta is still like crouched down, has a knife out, and like she was obviously fumbling with the dang Ruby stone to be like, I don't know how to touch you. Ah. And like she just got a hold of it in her hand. You come around the corner and she just like stabs out and yells in your face, Ruby Crystal, my gemstone. Like without thinking, just goes for it, and you. Oh. It's a big like uh, confetti explosion as you transform into the Ruby Gemstar. 
you are re wearing Ruby's outfit. And I believe Ruby is bigger than you. <laughs> oh, yeah. So How tall is Teta? I think I'll put her at 5'6". And Calvin, how, big, how tall is Arcelia? Oh, I, but she's not I don't have my thing open, so I don't remember. <laughs> Very Tata tall. Tata isn't muscular at all. Like, she's, she's like... So, uh, according to what you gave me, Calvin, 5'9", but... Okay, then, yeah. I just, I didn't, I didn't have it in front of me, but that's, that's probably right. So, it's, it's, it's too long, and it's really baggy, uh, but you're in it. That, uh, looks good on you? Uh, don't stab me. It's been a weird day. We have to find the others. <laughs> on it. Ow. I love that the free train is like all in this little corner. You know? Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm like leaning my forehead into the dang thing. There's the mouse. How much movement do I have? The normal amount? Um. As Ruby? I thought I had like. Well, there's takedown too, but. <laughs> you have a chokehold? I mean, yeah, I just use the <laughs> left for use. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you've got 120 feet of running. <laughs> you can all see, clearly see Emerald has just stepped out as well. Well, Didn't I about like 10 seconds ahead of them. Or did Jane the door. Crystal has stepped the door out. still. Yeah, Jane, Jane Crystal, Crystal gets to go before me, and I'm a little upset. Despite us having the same initiative. It happens. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm totally running up to this guy down here. Okay. And, and I'm going for Ruby Flurry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready for this. These poor intercessors. Literally. <laughs> Hey, have one actually fail a save, then we can talk about them being poor intercessors, right? Uh, well? So this is an area might. thing, so this is a thing he has to dodge. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay, because okay, I was about to be real upset with that roll. I was just um, like, not my knight. I'm not sure what the DC for the dodge part is, but that's... 20, 20, yeah. Okay, that is a 22. God! So he's saving against uh, half damage, so that'd be... DC 20? 20 for toughness. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, there's clearly something wrong with this sheet. Here's my question. If I, with all of her little, you know, soda light stabby stab, Amber is acid, uh, Alexandrite is invisible. Does that count as the gem? So, Saiteta so has the stabby stab on her okay. regular okay. self. Uh huh. Soda light stuff enhances a lot of what she does innately. Okay. All right. Um, so you clearly don't have, you clearly do not have the hang of the punchy punchy quite yet. Okay. Uh, because they dodge most of them and, and it doesn't seem to hurt. Um, for the record, that was one, two, three, four natural 20s in a row for the intercessors. Oh, no. <laughs> and I checked by rolling again because I'm like, there's clearly something wrong with this sheet. So I rolled again, just to check, and rolled a five. So, um. Jesus. Roll 20 wants the drama. <laughs> yes, roll 20 wants the drama. Channel your righteous fury. <laughs> uh, Has he forget again? that I'm standing right there, even though I just tried to hit him? No. Because I still have enough movement to, like, go around behind him. Because, I mean, you can go behind him. Oh, I'm just gonna say I'm behind him. There's no, um, there's no like attacks of opportunity and stuff. In yeah, this game, no, so. the sneak attack doesn't exist in this system. So no, no, uh, shenanigans, emerald. Uh, well, uh, um, there's some stuff going on. <laughs> yeah, emerald, emerald shakes herself away from gawking at Ruby in too small of a dress, <laughs> um, and goes. I have at the Alexandrite crystal. I've got to go find Alexandrite and give it to her. Um, and heard Alexandrite give the whole. So, ah, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, if I remember correctly, we can make an athletics check to increase our our movement speed by one rank. Yep. 
So I'm going to attempt that. What's the DC on that? Uh, 15. I hit it exactly. Um, so that's 60. And I need to measure that to see... Okay. It looks so, like you could get over to her in two actions. Yeah. And I go, that's the entry. Here. Uh, so as you open your hand to hand Alexandrite the um, gemstone, the gemstone, it's actually just it's attached to your hand. Uh, 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 it won't come off. What? What's your phrase? Since you know you're the one who whispers it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hold on. I got. I can't remember it. I can't remember it because I whisper it, and then I just stay as that the whole time. Um. Oh my god. Well, no, no. I'm uh, waiting. I got. I. I'm. I purposely. I need to wait until your turn so that you could tell me what it is. Oh, okay. Like I, Brandon knows what it is, but I figure Emerald's got no chance of knowing because you whisper it all the time. Sure. Actually, Kingsley, as luck would have it. The last time she said it, you were standing right next to her. Of course. Oh. Then, in that case, I will go, oh, wait. Um, I think it is... Alexandrite Crystal Enchantment. Gemstar, activate! Just annoying. as annoying when someone else says it, too. And this seems to take forever. <laughs> There are little swirly clouds, and you spin around, and you do these little poses. You're like a sim doing the like weird T poses, and you're like, I have no idea what's happening right now. But I love it. And uh, after all of that, um, you find yourself as the Alexandrite Jump Star. Oh God, and she doesn't look like me, does she? Well, you know what? The horns, the horns, the horns. She, the, she's got... Because my horns grow longer and my nails grow longer. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, the outfit fits perfectly. As luck would have it. I was and saying. you feel something strange on your head. And you reach up to touch them. And you notice you have really long green nails. What, what color is my skin? It's normal skin color. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say the purple is me is the like the purpley. And you reach up gray and skin me. But you've got you have horns. Um, for those anyone who can see, uh, emerald sand, right? Uh, the <laughs> horns are green. <laughs> One. Elliot just watches going, God, is that really what I look like when that happens? Like, she's so just like, ugh. And I do want, I do feel like I need to point out that um, uh, Jade Crystal didn't think quick enough to make an effort to hide that she transformed <laughs> into Alexandrite. Alexandrite. Amazing. Oh, the one guy might have some other concerns. <laughs> Yeah, he's been head punched, <laughs> bit by a lizard, transformation yeah. in his face. Now there's another demon thing. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I double moved, so that's my turn. All right. Morganite. Um, well, very nervously, uh, having been abandoned by uh, Remy, uh, as she went ping ponging down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> so I can just see kind of Morganite little... going, no, no. It's not how we do the jumping. Okay. Uh, she will look at the gem in her hand, take a deep breath, and do uh, sunlight crystal super sensory. Gem star activate. And in a puff of smoke and shadow, you become the solar light gem star. Yay. And I think you guys are close enough 
in size. Mary's five foot four. I think you guys are close enough in size that it doesn't fit perfectly, but Thanks. you don't look ridiculous. Yay. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Joe, how does your teleportation work? Because there's a lot to read here. Uh, <laughs> you have to know where you're going, even, like, just conceptually, know where you're going, and it has to have a shadow. So would Ruby's shadow be a valid spot? That is a GM call. GM. I'll allow it. With the power of friendship. <laughs> well, I my best friend it. you're with that shadow. I am going to that sh that's, that's that's I'll allow it. I mean, is is a friend not really a good location? Because a friend could be a home. Um, anyway. <laughs> yeah. So Nuri's teleporting, yeah. <gasps> okay, that's kinda cool. And you suddenly appear next to that's kind of cool. How does, how does Maruby? Maruby? Maroon? Rubenite. I didn't realize Rubenite. you were so stupid. <laughs> I like Rubenite. And um, your first thought upon getting there is that was, oh, don't stretch out my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Trying not to flex out of this outfit. Yeah, because they're like, oh, um, no, 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 no. they're like, <laughs> Do you it's know all those? right. They're like knickerbockers. They were baggy pants, and that's you know? what makes it more funny. Or what were those? What were those Renaissance pants? That that kind of, no, the ones that are like short, just above the knee, and they kind of puff out. Pumpkin pants. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, that's kind of what they look like on she, on Ruby. <laughs> her pants were baggy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they they so they're like funny. they're like puffy shorts on Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad because there's stockings under that. Yeah, you're going to have to replace those for sure. I have to replace the magical outfit. Um, so, uh, Morgan, are you doing anything else? You just, um, getting, just getting there? Just kind of a... Okay, that's weird. Hi, Ruby. That... Okay. Um, You don't have to ping pong, you know? Yeah, I didn't expect to be so bouncy. <laughs> Can I speak? Can I just go forward instead of, you know? Okay, normal um, forward direction. I'll try that. And can I just <laughs> grab onto her so that if she goes ping ponging, I can just be along for the ride? Sure. That went well for you. Sure. I'll allow it. Hey. <laughs> oh, no. I'm um, jealous because I can, I'm holding on to Ruby as Ruby goes. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Uh, so, is that everyone except Braylon transformed? I have Braylon it. transformed. Okay. Yeah, so Braylon, Braylon, yeah, man, man, man. Elliot, all right. Uh, I, haven't. I mean, I transformed. I just didn't transform. Well, yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, Alexander, right, we're back to you. There's more shenanigans happening behind you. Behind you. Okay, who's, I have Amber's gem, right? Yep. Okay, so, right. Amber. I mean, I don't really pay attention when anybody else transforms. The lizard uh, will squeak because I can see the emerald you, ruby. So the the lizard will squeak out amber crystal metamorphosis. Like that she does it angrily at me. <laughs> it's a lizard. Um, <laughs> and I'm... Uh, so Alexandra is just going to be like, all right, weird lizard thing. And she will begrudgingly say, and hope that she doesn't have to go through the same transformation that she does normally. Uh, she's going to say it with a little more gusto this time because she's kind of excited to get to transform into Amber. She's going to say, Amber, Crystallite, Metamorphosis, Gemstar, activate. Hoping that it just happens. <laughs> and so as you finish the phrase, you've feel a little weird for a second as you stretch like taffy and then you squeeze into an yeah. infinite ball of uh, just dense material and then you shoot out again huge long limbs everywhere and then you and you are 
the Amber Gemstar. And also Amber. Wait, so I look like Amber? You look like Braylon as Amber. Oh, wow. Nice. So. so. <laughs> How does so it feel like, seeing yourself? So she's going to stand there for a second because, like, she, everything feels weird and is like all of her organs are now like settling into place after she's been stretched like taffy and she's going to start feeling around like on her person and then she's going to realize that her hands look normal and then she's going to go like this and realize that her horns are gone and, and you're not be- purple anymore oh i'm not purple either oh okay so you now look exactly like braylon as the amber jumpstar and she's just looking at and she's going to kind of like panic and she's going to try and turn invisible but obviously she can't (laughs) she's going to turn into water so she's just like a water person because that's like the closest thing that is like clear I guess air would be kind of panic I'd say turning into air would be the uh, closest to it would be but I really like the idea of her wetting herself (laughs) yeah that's that's good (laughs) I'm Yeah, it's like, ter- like she just like terrifyingly like is like, oh god, and then she's like, then she's panicked again because she's now water and doesn't really know what to do. Uh, would uh, would would water Amber like to move? Um, she's gonna follow the screen. Well, she's gonna see if she can hear anybody. She's gonna start yelling, like, "What the hell is going on?" Seeing if she can hear is anybody else. Yes. You. You will all take note as you transform that you can, you can instantly, you feel that same connection that you always feel when you are transformed. So you can, you can feel the other people as they enter the link. So the space where like, where Amber and um, Morganite are, like, it's obviously not filled in. Is that where we heard the screams or is it all the way on the other side still? It is... Because I'm assuming where we're at is kind of a wall. Yeah, it's it's coming from beyond yeah. this wall. Into the left. So down. Okay. Oh, that dr- coming, down. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Down and to the left. Yeah. The yeah. enemy's gate is down. <laughs> um, so she's just going to yell and run. Okay. Well, she's more, more like she's, she's gonna, gonna, gonna slosh away. Yeah. <laughs> she can slosh pretty fast. Yeah. So she's just gonna kind of she's gonna run how far she thinks she can run, but then realize she can just keep running. So she's like just like doesn't stop. So let's well, see how far can water form. Oh wait. Then oh, you would water into form the wall. is pretty. Oh wait, water form doesn't have a sheet. No, it's uh. I didn't bother creating a sheet for it, but water form is pretty. Are you oh, going to? Really pretty. Uh, is she going to move past? Um, Let's see. Ruby and Morganite, or is she going to stop there? She's going to run towards the screaming. Okay. So is, is that a wall as well? Like I can't go any. Like I was going to just go straight down. Yeah, the big bold black line is a wall. Oh, okay. Okay. I was thinking that was just like map we couldn't see. Like we needed to get there to see it. It's both. So then, yeah, she's, she's going to essentially just run around the corner. So let's see. So should I just go by then what is Amber's movement? So in water form, your movement should be um, 120 feet per round. Okay. That's what Amber says. So, okay. That's what I was going to base it on. Okay. So. I can make it. You could get to like. So she just goes around here. (laughs) So she just goes, oh my God, what happened? (laughs) And then just like kind of stands there and is like, (laughs) and then just like kind of just stands there and doesn't know what to do anymore. Um, So Ruby and I'm sorry, Arcelia and Mary, you see a water person just come screaming and sloshing around the corner there. That does not look like Alexandra anymore because her horns are gone. No, it looks like Amber. Which one? Is that that actually Amber? I don't think so. Um, 
name? It's Elliot, you idiots. Can't you tell? <laughs> no. Not even you a little. Told them You're you literally a water person. <laughs> oh, also, Arcelia, when you have your turn, you should turn on the light. Oh, yeah. That would... Amber. I'm sorry, Braylon. Turn oh. On the light. Um. Braylon is torn between doing something involving this guard that they came over to bite because Alexandrite was getting into a fight with them <laughs> um, and activating the gem. Um, don't make your power so traumatic. What? I said, don't make your power so traumatic. Um, you know, um, Braylon is going to use a move action to transform into a ape. Oh. Um, that works. Which, for some reason, I can't do. Huh. I have I have that sheet. No, I've got the sheet. I oh. oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, you can change your little token-y things. So yeah, now let's get back to the question. Like, with all the little like blank character does blank, does our does our gem does it say the gem? Does that have to count as the player or as the gem? What do you mean? So like, on the bingo, like we have Amber's acid. Oh. So if Alexandre turns to acid, I think we can kind of like, cast and loose with that one for today's episode. <laughs> okay. Oh, but then right. also so, like stabby stab. <laughs> Do we need to make a Mary stabby stab? Yes. So like walks over. Here, my child, have a knife. So Braylon, you have become a large ape. With forearms. With forearms. With eight forearms. No, four forearms, right? We have Yeah, it's fine. It's a total of four arms. Yes. And then two legs. So it's a six limbed gorilla. <laughs> um I was making a forearm joke. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Um and uh, uh let's see. I'm really tempted to see what happens if I do this. Um No. Go for it. Okay. So first uh, Braylon is going to uh, smoosh the guard uh, as a giant gorilla. Okay. Um, non-lethally smoosh? That's fine. Non-lethally. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, just, you know... A, smoosh away. A, 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 a big, unarmed bash attack. Okay. okay. It's so nice, though, that we know. That will hit, and... Boop. Yep. Oops, I'm on the, okay. Bloop. Uh, so he's already started to like, oh, because this little lizard suddenly became really heavy. So yeah. he was sort of down on his knees. And then this monkey thing just, whoa, all four arms just jackhammer his head into the ground. And he goes, come on. And I do have fast grab, so I'm going to carry him, or, you know, hold on to his unconscious body. Sure. Um, and then the giant ape is going to say, um, Emerald Crystal Fortune, Gemstar Activate. <laughs> and in a glittery, sparkly, very anime, um, little ting, ting, tings all around you. Ribbons fly everywhere. And as the green ribbons clear, you are now a green furred, <laughs> four-armed, two-legged ape thing. Covered in glitter. A perfectly quaffed head of green hair <laughs> and he didn't the... have hair before did he nope. did 
and the prettiest emerald sparkly dress and little boy shorts you have ever, Perfectly ever fit. seen. And they fit perfectly. perfectly. Okay, first um, thank you, I do for a hundred bits. Thank you for the cheer. GM. Yes. I would like to use my hero point to take uh -huh. an extra action. Absolutely. And the ape will shout out, Jetstar's yes. time to shine. <laughs> no. uh, you can em keep that hero point because I'm going to give it back to you for that. Okay. <laughs> Emerald Zandrite can't resist it. this class. Like, oh, yay! <laughs> um, this four-armed ape, ever. ape looks like they are definitely going to be a pop star someday. Well, that is artwork we need to put in the works. <laughs> yeah. Right. I, we... I tinted yeah, my token green. Oh. <laughs> I want to see all of all of the team and I want all the swaps. I can just see Ruby like picking a wedgie. Like <laughs> <laughs> I want like it is, it Mary is almost... standing there going, "This is too big." <laughs> like the little slight baggy. Not... Like it's a little baggy, but it's pretty nice. It would almost be worth it to. <laughs> Pay again. Pay together the money and get uh, yeah. commissioned. Get up. Savannah yeah. to yeah to commission that art. So, 100%. as I got my time team, to shine. As the team gathers, and uh, I'm just gonna, by oh power of plot, move you all toward the door. Yeah. Like I say, now that we're all transformed, can't we just teleport over to each other? You sure can. Yeah. Uh, so, by the magic of your magic, you all end up over here. Um, these guys have already moved into the other room, so they're not there anymore. Um, you end up just, just away from the entry to the main uh, part of the building, where all of the screaming and chaos is coming from. And... That's where we're going to take our break. Okay. Uh, when we come back, we will get a look at the gem swapped gem stars in action against whatever <sighs> is going on in the main room of the intercessory. So we will be taking.